A new study finds one in eight people who had COVID-19 now suffer from so-called long COVID symptoms. That means millions of Americans could be dealing with long term effects after being infected. We're getting a lot of questions from you about long COVID, like how do you know if you got it and what are the symptoms? Adiande Till went to the experts to verify. Nearly 90 million people in the US have tested positive for COVID-19 since the pandemic began. Some of those people continue to experience symptoms or complications for months afterwards. It's a condition called long COVID. Several Verify readers have emailed the team with questions about long COVID. So let's answer them using these sources. First up, what is long COVID? According to the CDC and the Mayo Clinic, a person is suffering from long COVID if they continue to experience symptoms more than four weeks after their COVID-19 diagnosis. The WHO adds that symptoms of long COVID last for at least two months and cannot be explained with an alternative diagnosis. So how do you know if you have long COVID? According to Dr. Ilham Masaudi Powers, an immunology expert at the University of Kentucky College of Medicine. Unfortunately, there isn't a really good way to test for long COVID, right? It's all subjective and it's all people reporting their symptoms. So what are some common symptoms of long COVID? The CDC says that many long COVID symptoms are similar to those caused by an acute infection of COVID-19, like joint or muscle pain, diarrhea or stomach pain. Other symptoms that people have reported include fatigue, shortness of breath, brain fog and anxiety, according to Dr. Natalia Kovarubias Eckert, medical director of the post COVID rehabilitation program at Providence St. Jude Medical Center in California. And finally, do you have to have had a bad case of COVID to get long COVID? According to Dr. Kovarubias Eckert, the answer is no. We are seeing it throughout the spectrum. But Johns Hopkins Medicine and the CDC say long COVID appears to be more common in patients with initial severe illness, though it can affect people who had mild symptoms too. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till.